I'm joined by Miguel Nevsch, Editor-in-Chief of Skift Meetings. Skift was the first keynote of the 61st edition of ECA World Congress in Krakow, which shows how important the platform is for the conference with the founder of the company addressing this audience. So obviously, trends in travel, international travel, are a big and important topic for the industry. What's the number one thing that comes to your mind when you think about those changes, those shifts on the market? Yep, so as Rafa Ali, our CEO, uh, in the keynote was talking about the, the great uh, merging, as he calls it, or we call it at Skift, um, we think that this idea of business travel and tourism travel being very separate, we think that's really merging together. The way we travel, the way we work, the way we live. Uh, hotels are looking more like lounges. Offices are looking more like hotels. And I think this is because we are now traveling uh, and working and doing leisure. So it's it's a little bit of a pleasure or a, that kind of um, trend. But I think it's more than that because we are now working hybrid. You know, we're working remotely. We sometimes have offices, sometimes we don't. And we don't think that's going to go away. So companies adapting to that, that really impacts the whole of travel, whether it's business travel or leisure. So I suppose it's fair to compare it to hybrid work and large employers finding it difficult to establish what's going to be the long-term uh, work ecosystems of the future because employee, employees don't want to come back to offices for various reasons. So it's similar because we've seen more and more overlaps between private life, socializing, work, vacation, all that with all the consequences for the industry. Yeah. I mean, it, it is that, it's exactly that, but it's how does that impact the meeting sector? Travel in general, but specifically the meeting sector. Many people believe that we're gonna meet more because we don't have offices to go to, so that socialization doesn't happen every day. So we have to build that into kind of weekly, monthly meetings where we connect. And that could be great news for the meetings industry, particularly for small meetings, which may be, you know, much more frequent and much more, uh, you know, happening much more often. But it also presents challenges because if people are spread out more, if you're traveling to a conference, even if it's internal, people are coming from different destinations and it takes longer to get to places. And perhaps they're choosing destinations that have more direct flights because it's more complicated and everybody needs their own kind of travel agenda. So these shifts are, are deep. We don't know exactly how it's gonna level out, but you know, it's an exciting time to figure that out. Miguel, can you think of a hard data example, something that relates to people's imagination, how these shifts are happening? Well, we have data from the Skift research team from the hotel side and from the uh, airline side. And, and they're kind of saying the days that are key for hotels you know, what used to be business during the week, leisure during the weekend, that's no longer that easy to separate. So hotels are saying, actually, and Airbnb as well, which, you know, is a, I don't know if I'd call it a new player anymore, but it's definitely a disruptor in the industry and somebody that we're always looking at and seeing what they're doing. They're saying they have much longer stays now permanently in the system, which didn't used to happen. So this idea of digital nomads, this idea of traveling and working, even though you're bringing your family, we don't think that's going away. And the data is kind of saying, hey, this isn't, this isn't completely revolutionizing the industry, but it's changing a lot. And it's significant enough that business models are going to have to shift because of that. <laughs>